Frederick Douglass, the great American statesman, traveled to Ireland over 175 years ago and for the first time felt truly free. He imagined, I'm sure, in those days when he was in Ireland, that you would be coming behind him. That was part of his courage and his vision for his country and for our world. Frederick Douglass passed you a baton, and the question will be, during your part of the race, when you're carrying the baton, what will you do with it? Less than 6% of students currently studying abroad are Black. In order for me to become more culturally aware and culturally sensitive to everything that's going on around me, I know that I need to get out there and I need to study abroad and travel abroad. The Frederick Douglass Global Fellowship was developed for students of color who are currently underrepresented on study abroad programs. It's awarded to students who embody the spirit of Douglass himself, who share his desire to agitate and improve the lives of others. You have been selected from a record number of applicants to polish your leadership skills, to expand your commitment to social justice, and to communicate. I believe there is no greater form of experiential learning for our young people, particularly diverse young people. And as a first-generation Latina college student, I'm extremely grateful to be able to use travel as a vehicle for leadership opportunities and cross-cultural exchange. I hope to be able to use the many lessons I will learn and experiences that I will gain through this fellowship to continue to advance positive change in the United States upon my return. I'm looking at the screen to see all of the faces of our young leaders. Congratulations. Your nation is so proud of you. You will return changed. To follow in the footsteps of Frederick Douglass, it's quite mind-blowing actually to like walk some of the paths that he's walked and feel that connection. It's very important that this is perceived and practiced as an experience of solidarity, that no one walks this walk on their own. Honestly, it's very overwhelming, I should say. It kind of makes me feel like I need to live up to something. But I consider the Frederick Douglass Fellows as ambassadors for Frederick Douglass. And I want to ask you, because I want to know from you how impactful it was to be able to come and, and spend time and walk in the in, in his footsteps. After meeting his um, great-great-granddaughter, she has now informed me I could be great within my own means. This is still an at-risk environment. An experience that I'll definitely take with me is going to Belfast. The wall that separates the Protestant English and the Irish Catholic. These gates that you've walked through, they were opened this morning and they'll close tonight. Seeing the, the conflict there, seeing the two different sides and how generation after generation are exposed to this trauma has definitely left an impression on me when it comes to conflict resolution and how I want to go into my future career in international relations. I wanted this lesson to really be a group discussion. This fight is just not a fight for myself, but it's really a global fight. Every single person on this trip has taught me something. It's a really beautiful thing, actually. You, you can't get that anywhere else. And enjoy your stay in Ireland, and may you come back. It is even more important to ensure that the door stays open for those who want to follow in those footsteps. I don't want to be the last person to go on the Frederick Douglass Global Fellowship from Hampton. I, I want to be the first of many. That's why I've committed to support students from my institution. Apply, apply, apply. This is an amazing opportunity to at least throw your hat into the ring. When you come back, though, there is an expectation that you share what you have learned. But what did Frederick Douglass do? He went home and he agitated, agitated, agitated. Because just like democracy, just like civil rights, it's an ongoing process. I aspire to be the kind of leader that can use his skills that he learned to create some good trouble. I aspire to deconstruct systems of oppression. I aspire to be a change maker in the healthcare field. I aspire to be an exceptional educator, a learner, a teacher. I aspire to be a credit to my race and to my family and to the United States. 
I aspired. 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 I aspire to be extraordinary. Like Frederick Douglass in Ireland, you can come as you are and you can leave who you aspire to be.